Lizzie the Bee Dog, Pear Bayless, David Barnyard Bees. Today is a four wheeler day. And we're going out of this bee yard to go on a trip to get some bees. And she'll follow me the whole way. Lizzie the bee dog goes everywhere with us. Dog. I'll put this on pause and resume when we get out there a little ways. Okay, got past the bumpy part. Going through the field. We just got a small group of bees out here on the neighbor's property. I'm gonna build this up a lot bigger here in a, about a week or so after I can come out here and get this mowed off. This is kind of a mess out here, kind of, excuse the, the bee mess. But what we're doing, we've got a small water going out today, a three, and I just have two on the four wheeler, then I have to go back and get another one in my other yard but haven't been out in this yard for a while and as you can see these these highs here are pretty it's still fairly early in the morning so well not that early but these look pretty good and that right there is a nook that actually didn't make it over the winter and I hadn't cleaned it up yet but what I plan on doing, this is a beautiful place out here. It's a, uh, it's across from my property and uh, my neighbor gave me this to use for a bee yard. And I usually keep it mowed for him, but I haven't been out here in a while. So I'm gonna mow this down and we're gonna start putting some stands out here in this little section right here. Then he gave me another section that we'll probably put some in. So. I just want everybody to see it. That was kind of, we'll see what these bees look like. Let's get in them and see what they look like. As you can see, this is why you need to get into your hives more often than what you do. This is propolized down pretty heavy because I just, I never get a chance to get away from the main bee yard. And these things are propolized down very hard and see, you can even end up damaging your frames i always try to put pressure in between these bars right here if you try right here what will happen is you'll break this off so always try to if you get through your hives a lot you won't have to worry about this but if you try to pry like right here you're going to break that off so if it's a hive that's not been into it for a while go in between those bars like that and pry across like that. See how those, these are really, really tight. Cause this is an example of one that just hasn't been gone through. So busy with the other bee yard, I just not got a chance to get over here. So, and always new beekeepers. When you pull out your frames, never, ever, ever pull out frames in the middle ever and when you smoke roll your little bit of smoke across like such and the side you decide to go down on usually what I do I don't pick one side or the other I look at the side that looks like it has less honey because your honey is on your outside frames and it's usually bulging more on one side than it is the other the side that's less bulging is the side I pull out so doing that you won't roll the queen a chance near as much of rolling the queen if the honey is not bulging out. Because if it's bulging out and you go to pull this, that queen's right there, you're going to roll her. So that's exactly why you want to pull one of the outside frames because chances are the, the, the brood's going to be on the inside, more of the inside. And what you can do too is roll you a little bit of smoke down the frame you decide you're going to pull down. Wait a minute. Give her a chance to move out of the way. 
and then you can pull it out. Like, like I said, this hive here is a fine example of one that just hasn't been gone through. So, we'll get in there and see what we got. I don't know really what kind of shape these are in over here. But it looks like quite a few bees in there. And you can tell too, if you notice on the videos on their other frames, this is more older wax. This is a uh, about every every hive I've sold so far this year has been uh, overwintered nuke, and we're just now starting to get into where we're selling the the splits. But this is an example of one of the overwintered nukes, and you can tell by the how dark the comb is. One thing you can tell. So. I always try to, when you set your frame down, try to set it down gently and kind of work back and forth and move the bees out of the way. You see how I'm working on that? There's a lot of propolis in here, a lot of propolis. So. And I know people like you, like when I use a tripod, but sometimes you just can't use a tripod. And move around like this so it's just kind of hard to to do sometimes extreme amount of propolis here and that's why you want to get into your frames a lot because this is what will happen see right here this frame is actually coming apart but it only when the staple it was only one staple for some reason was put in there So they have to be going in repaired. But here's an example too about people talking about bees being friendly. The more you go in them, that's not really true. Uh, it's still in the genetics. These bees haven't been going through. <laughs> this is probably the second time this year to be truthful. So once very early in the season and then now. So. it's in the genetics you know these they're not used to seeing me over here these these bees are secluded there's nothing that comes over here they don't see anybody so it's not about that it's it's in the genetics i mean look look at my bare arm right there they're not jumping over and attacking me and if you was in a hive that had bad genetics and uh, i done a little video last time about mean bees versus nice bees and and this is kind of going out to the people that opposed to that well here's a fine example i'll tell you if if that was the case and mean bees were the way to go then we all should be raising africanized bees because that's the meanest stock there is right there you can't beat a, a meaner bee than the africanized honeybee so if that was the case and honey protection was huge on those then that's what would everybody be raising for honey it's just not true if, if the hive is actually more defensive that means they're spending less time making honey, less time doing things that they need to be doing. If, if they're defensive and everything that jumps around, they're gonna be spending and occupied a lot of time doing that. So think about that, it's just common sense. Uh, one advantage I would give to the meaner bees is that they would be better at protecting their hive. They'd be better at protecting from against skunks, anything that would get into the hives. But as far as black bears goes, I don't care how mean the hive is, uh, if a black bear decides to go in your hive, mean bee or no bee, they're going in it and they're going to take it and they're going to destroy it. It doesn't matter if it's an Africanized bee or a gentle stock of bees like this, it really just doesn't matter. But So think about that, it's just, it's just common sense. And it's about... Good management, you know, there's a, from what I'm seeing here, these bees 
and just by looking at them and it, it looks to me like they have already swarmed out there are you can see you can see brood but probably what happened was there should be tons of cat brood in here and there's not and the population should be overwhelmingly populating this in this knot and what's happened I can tell just by experience these bees have swarmed out once and they're, and they're just now starting to repopulate so that's what's going on here I can tell by the, the amount of brood that's in here the amount of bees that's in here uh, it looks like the they've uh, come back like the queen looks like they have swarmed out uh, they've made queen cells she's hatched come back and they're repopulating there's a little bit of cat brood right there so this has probably happened well more than a month ago So probably around the first week of April, I'm guessing, that this hive's probably swarmed out. And you, I can see all stages of brood in there now. I can see young larvae, especially in this frame right here. And because when I come out here at the first of the year, there was a lot more bees in this. So that's why you need to go through your hives because they will up and swarm on you you know they they get every populated as you they become honey honey bound or this she's laid up all the cells and there's no room that's what will happen i've not come across her yet right you can't i know you won't be able to see today on the video but there's fresh eggs right there that i can see so that's what's happened there So I'm going to go on and I'm going to look for the queen. I'm going to move this hive on out and sell it. And move it to its staging hive. Let it grow out a little bit where I can keep an eye on it. Feed it out good. But that's today's video. I just thought I'd share. And one of the new beekeepers to see that. About how to pour your frames out. Start on the outside. Always remember that and go through your highs because if not you'll be propolized like this thing was it's just really tight so that's it for today thanks for watching barnyard bees